Boy, that's heavy. Welcome back to uh, Every Day With Me, Nick. It hasn't been quite every day with me, but to be fair, I haven't had much content, so I'm going to spin this round. I'm going to take this off or something, so I don't know. I'll spin it round. Let's have a look what's happening. Right, pull it up. Yeah, there's not been much content because I haven't been doing much. Been looking after Isaac. Last Laura's been at work and uh, basically planning what to do when things do open up again. So fortunately one of my local machine shops yesterday was open. And all this steel here is to make the bucket for that David Brown. Now the more I keep looking at it, the more I keep thinking it's going to be a massive bucket. So what I'm going to do is, <laughs> I know fine well once I've got it made I ain't going to be able to lift it, it's heavy as beep. <laughs> so, going to wear, don't know if I mean shot or not, I'm going to get it somewhat set up. Fortunately yesterday when I was there, they preformed the, um, well, we folded the angles in that needed, otherwise I was just going to be welding them on, which was doable, but was going to be a, a chew on, to say the least. So here I've got everything to pretty much just weld on and, and do and go. So I'm going to try, I, I don't know if I'm going to set you up as a time lapse, as a video, I don't know yet because this could be a head scratching moment until I get it all figured out. Um, there's not much to it, it's just making sure I'm going to get these set up right. So I'm going to go get my cardboard template, make sure I'm uh, following it rightly, which I should be. And um, well, I don't need it anyway, they're under there. So yeah, I'm going to try and set it up and uh, we'll see you very, very soon. And um, yeah, well, well, I'll tell you what I've got around my house. I've got some trestles that I made, uh, which I did on a previous video. I should really have them. But I've got another workbench there. I might use that. So anyway, I'm going to bring you back once I've got something set up and you can see what's going on. So, ciao for now. Right, welcome back, everyone. Um, so currently I've just got the welder set up, I'm, I'm using MIG at the moment, uh, just to... Guys, I can't get that, oh there you go. Just to get a tack in there, because I want to start, I want to make sure everything's in its right place, so I'm just going to get a couple of tacks along it. Um, I've got this part behind me, lighting in here is terrible, come on, <laughs> can't see that, anyway I've got this this piece of folded and that's going to go up here and then up here so I'm going to just get some tax for it make sure everything lines up and I mean if it, it don't line up then it's no biggie like so help hey, Roxy um, just get you set down a second and, and watch me
Yeah, so all I'm going to do is I use these these um, metal uh, magnet clamps, I guess. Just going to set them inside there. At the back here, you'll see I've got a gap in there. It's no biggie. What that, what I'm going to do here is I just got a piece of six mil stock there. Just going to set it up on the back side there, the same as the other side, and. Um, That'll give me some sort of um, reference for me when I put the other piece on. So, see if I can see if I can get you set up somehow. That camera works a bit shoddy today. It's not great anyway, I like but. Like that, and it's quite solid, very solid anyway. So, just should have got a tripod over here. The old trusty combination. How are you doing? Just uh, going to start welding up there. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's done DIY, I would say. Excuse me, I've been looking for me other bloody magnets and it's been on me welder. If anybody has a way to tell to teach me how to remove grind dust and weld dust from magnets, please be sure to help. Right, so we've got that done. on this back side. Once I've done this, once I've got this 
tacked up with me I'm going to be going at it with a uh, stick welder we'll get you Because I, I get a bit of penetration with the stick welder, I believe. Just uh, going to try and set up that uh, what do you call it? Try and set up that next edge. Oh, this that bent one. This bent one here. I want to see if I can get that one to shed this week. What's that? Yeah, right, I will put you back on in a second. So this is why we do uh, little trials and tack it up is because this side plate here needs to be running on the inside yeah. of this form and then um, it'll allow, when I put this bent form, formed part here on, it was uh, it wasn't following the, the angles rightly, so I'm going to uh, take these welds back out, uh, grind these welds off, I didn't put many in, um, grind these welds out and um, try again and I'll uh, set you back up in when I'm done that. Right, so what happened here was, when I originally set this up, I set it on the outside, if you can see that, I set it on the outside. What this meant was when this, this folded piece here, like here, when that went on, it wasn't matching up. So what I've done now is I've used I put it on the inside edge. So you'll see there's the edge of the steel and there's the edge of the edge of that end plate. So that's giving me yeah, there's some gap there, but it will, it'll fill in, it's fine. And that's it. It's all flush now. So, I'm going to do the same to that side. So, I'll, be, I'll do a wee bit of grinding now. And get that end off. Silly me, he'd put more bloody weld on that side. Stupid boy. Let's see if I can get you set up.
You're going to see this with me. This is going to be a long video, so I apologise. I might even split this into two. I think I better because you're going to be watching me. Quite so, let's turn you around onto the actual workpiece so this bit goes on the inside let's see if we've got you in shot I should think so Anybody who used to remember Little Britain would have picked up on that one. Have you heard of a thing called cheese? Oh, yes! This is what metal dust does to you, it makes you go insane. Ah. Right, so, all I've got to do now. doing is um, I'll be welding the inside of all this but I will be putting a, a weld edge on the back side of it as well so just look in there yeah I'm gonna leave it at that I think That's what you get for it. Just that too much air up. The things. Well, 
out. school in it. Yeah, that's better. you down and the change I'll pause you a second right so we've got that tacked on now so that should show that Roxy get out okay don't uh, anybody in the keen viewing viewers will notice that I've got some uh, fuel cans in the back Yes, they won't catch on fire if they do, I'm dead, so I just know you. Right, we're all tacked up, Dad. So, I'm just going to get this folded piece. That's really heavy. You love me, so will it go? You might know. I just want to uh, get these corners off.
Well, we're not here forever, Dad. Oh, we had cancer, didn't we? Yeah. Well, message, message to everybody there. Right. <laughs> Live. 65. 65. Live life like it's your last. I mean, that's fair to say, isn't it, Dad? Yeah. You're not doing bad, are you? You're 80 this year. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Ah. Okay, what is that? Right. No way. To me, I put a spot along this. Uh, I'll put it. And then pull this over. Let me have a look at that um, angle. See on that side I've got a gap here and no gap here. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if I can maybe equal it out or I might just weld it up. I just dip it together like that. I mean if you wanted to you could have took a bit more off the bottom one, not you? No no that's fine. Yeah. You don't want it water too. No. Well, I'd have to put holes in it anyway. That's a big bucket. <laughs> Get to the toilet, <laughs> Probably about a four bloody yard of this. Probably something you'd use on a bloody earth. Weld the water and then pull it. Yeah. Pull the pull it out. That's not bad, though. That's alright, that. That's a pretty good bucket, that. Could be some there too. Yeah, I'll put that flat on. It's what yeah. you call a sacrifice edge. Yeah. So you can when it when it dashes up, you just grind it off and weld the new one on. Fuck yeah! It's a big bucket. It's a big bucket, peoples. <laughs> right. Let's, let's show you what I've got. Well, this is it for upside. Sorry about that wind there. And that's inside. <laughs> it's massive. So it measures 1380 internal dimensions by Christ. That must be two. That must be two foot. Yeah. The tractor might not even lift it. <laughs> so. We'll get this welded up. I'll uh, might set you on a time lapse here, and um, and then I'll come back to you with a with a bit more. Right, I'll catch you in a bit.
this video up before me uh, GoPro dies. Uh, I'm going to have to charge my battery pack tomorrow. So today what I've done is I've made this bucket. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to split this in a few parts. It's too big. It's too long for one video. So um, I've just got to get it off these workbenches that it's sat on, get it on the floor, flip it over, get, um, get in to be able to get to uh, this back edge here. As you can see there. Then flip it up on its ends. I'll get the other side done first. Yes, little battery. I want to get the other end done first. Get that welded up. Whilst it's on the floor, get the insides to be welded up too. All along here. And then yeah, that's folded. Get the last bits done. So, what a video. I'm going to have to just do this in a few parts and yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So, thank you very much for keeping with me and we will see you again next time bye for now